Madame Pelouse's father, the Scottish engineer Wilson, had made a fortune installing gas lights throughout Paris from 1853. These lights, about 15,000 in total, combined with the widened streets, improved the safety of outdoors Paris. Gas lights allowed citizens to walk, shop and socialize after dark, as is shown in a painting of the Impressionist Pierre Auguste Renoir. This painting depicts the open courtyard of a dance hall in Paris, which normally hosted working class citizens. For the sake of this painting, Renoir substituted his artist friends and their models. They are smiling, relaxed and attractive, having a good time.
With the money of her early deceased father, Madame Pelouse could buy and restore Chenonceau Castle. Gustave Flaubert, the author of Madame Bovary and close friend of her, stayed several times at the castle to write, even in the absence of Madame Pelouse. He wrote, The Chateau de Chenonceau, shrouded in aristocratic dignity, excludes a strangely suave atmosphere. The general feeling is one of gentle peace, elegance and comforting strength. In 1879, Madame Pelouse invited the 17-year-old, promising young pianist Claude Debussy to play in her chamber music ensemble. Debussy stays that summer at Chenonceau. There he discovers the charms of a life of luxury and decides to become a composer. He developed a style of music that broke strikingly strong away from the tonality of classical music. Debussy is considered the founder and leading exponent of musical impressionism, although he resisted that label. Not in contradiction with Chenonceau's history, Madame Poulouse was the mistress of the heart of state at the time, the president of the French Republic, Jules Grévy. And, in 1881, at the castle once again, a grandiose wedding party was held, this time in honour of the marriage between the brother of Madame Poulouse, Daniel Wilson, and the daughter of the president. Alice Grévy. But it all ended catastrophically, again not unusual for Chenonceau's history. In the second term of Jules Grévy, newspaper journalists brought to light the trafficking of Grévy's son-in-law, Daniel Wilson, in the awarding of decorations of the National Order of the Legion of Honor. He sold them for 25,000 francs. President Grévy was not accused of personal participation in this scandal of decorations, but he was slow to accept his indirect responsibility, which caused his eventual resignation in 1887. On top of it all, the next year, 1888, Madame Pelouse went bankrupt, and the castle was seized and sold at auction. It was repurchased by the Building and Loan Association. The New York Times mentions the sale of the Pelouse collection, and most of the objects were sold far beneath current prices. Mm -hmm. 